I would like to give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, the true Lord, beside the King of Kings, Royal to Himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. Also, the final Father, the true Father, one of the West. This is Paul the King's Glory, but you yet one in the lesson. Before I go far, this is less than less than ten to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which consists of the so called African American blacks, so called Latino, so called Native American Indian descent, and also the Israelite foreigners that scattered abroad sea and land. To you, I say, Shalom, and peace and blessings be unto you. And I'm going to call this lesson, I'm trying to make this lesson very quick here. Um, this lesson I'm going to call, I'm going to tell you this lesson. If you're not signing crying, the chances are you are not among the elect. If you're not signing crying, you're not among the elect. Because when you read throughout the scriptures, the, the select men have a sign, you know, that sign, that select on them, that mark rather, is um is the um you know is the seal of the election you know the scripture if the lord's willing we endure to the end you know that's why our scriptures say um um make your calling and your election sure you know what i mean i'm gonna get that there. i'm gonna get that here in a little bit but you should be upset should be sad and should be grieving um of the conditions of your people and the condition you're living in, you know, um, living from check to check, not able to buy things you need for standard living, or even if you are rich, you still labor as a third class citizen. You can have a hundred million dollars in a bank account. They still label you as a third class citizen, and they don't respect you and their unions. Like, for example, their European union. I don't care how much money Mayweather make, they're not going to let him in the European Union. You feel me? That's what it means about being a third-class citizen, you know? So you should be signing and crying of the abominations, you know? Let's get that real quick. It's Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. It says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, he's talking about the holy angels, through the midst of Jerusalem, set a mark upon the forehead of the of, of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that's done in the midst thereof. I mean, we are living in a twisted, corrupt, corrupt, corrupt society, you know, that pushes straight wickedness 24 seven. And you supposed to be signing crying, you know, and if you are among the elect, you will sign cry because this is not your rest. The scripture talks about and you read the, in the book of Revelation, here's the, the faith and the patience of the saint. You know, here's the patience and the faith of the saints, meaning the, the, the saints are patiently waiting in faith to be saved and delivered out of this wicked captivity, you know. I mean, we are we live in a twisted society where we are oppressed daily. I mean, they cover the face of the judge thereof. We read Job chapter nine verse twenty four. I mean, we this is hell. This is hell for an Israelite man. I mean, you might have a nice house, you might be doing good, but you don't realize that that you are labeled as a third class citizen in their society. In other words, meaning that your opinion and. and to them or your life to them or your opinion rather don't matter because you're not like I said before you're not a part of their setup but that's what it means that you are a third class citizen meaning you are the first fired last hired you know and this is a stigma that's on us because we came from slavery you know and they labeled us as less than um, human you know which is an abomination you know, in actuality, the so-called white man <clears throat> is less than human. The scripture talks about he's the base of he's the base of men. So I want to touch on this lesson because, you know, you're supposed to be signing crying of the affliction. Um, let, me, let me let me um get another precept and I'll close it out here. Let me just want to show you an example of sign and crying. This is Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 21. For the hurt of the daughter of my people and I'm hurt. I Meaning you're supposed to be you're supposed to be upset of the condition of your people. You're not supposed to be like these sellout coons, just take the bag and just be like, what the hell with the rest, not realizing that they are enslaved as well. I am I am black and astonish astonishment have taken hold of me. You know, because we fail from 
being from a rule, ruling class to the bottom of society, you know. So you're supposed to be signing and crying, just like uh, uh, the Holy Prophet Jeremiah was signing and crying, you know. This place is wicked, it's corrupt, you know, it's um, pure evil. This is, a, this America is a demonic setup that push forth confusion, you know. Um, this place is set up to keep you in chain. And the change is, like I said before, you are attached to a social security number, which is attached to a system, you know, and that will make you a debt slave. A debt slave is someone that always pay contrary, a, a tribute to a tax society, like how they did in ancient Rome. And that's why this is Rome all over again, but sub worser. And with that, I want to close it out. We'll give our honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, the true of the beside the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. Also, the final, also the final father, the true father, one west. Shalom, Israel. Peace and blessings. And Shalom.